So this was your homework on page 37. Uh, we are drawing a triangle ABC. And then it doesn't say anything about what triangle ABC might look like. So let's just draw a triangle. Here's that one. OK, so let's go A, B, C. For some reason, whenever I draw a triangle ABC, <laughs> it seems like my, my top point there always is a right triangle, or right angle. So it's OK. Let AM and BN be two of its medians. So what's a median? It goes to the middle of the opposite side. So AM is a median. So M has got to be there, and AM is a median. BN is another median. So N, so I have to go from B to the opposite side. Make an N there. And these will be equal. Now these intersect at G. So a lot of this is really just drawing the picture. Extend AM to the point P that makes GM equal to MP. Okay, so, so here's GM right here. We want to extend that out to make GM equal to MP. So let's extend this out. About right there, baby. GM is equal to MP. Put my little tick marks there. Okay, prove that P, B, P, B, G, C is a parallelogram. Wow. So now we have that a different color here. So P, B, G, C. Well, it looks pretty good. Okay, so how would we know that this is a parallelogram, Alex? It's diagonals bisect each other. So it's diagonals bisect each other. So you could have just, I mean, we haven't talked about that in here, but if you know anything about a parallelogram, you, have, you know that the diagonals do bisect each other in a parallelogram. So that's, that's one way. What if you didn't know that? What's another way you can show that they are a parallelogram? Hunter? The interior lines are parallel. Okay. Horizontal ones in B and C. So, so they're parallel right in here? These are parallel? That's true. That's what we're trying to prove, though. So we can't really use that. Yes, Daniel? You could get uh, two triangles congruent to each other. I like that idea. So if we look at, say, um, and, and again, we're not doing a full proof just yet. But if I say I look at, let me color this in a little darker. Does everybody see this triangle right across from each other. This triangle right here, and this triangle right here. <coughs> Are those two triangles congruent? Yes. Yeah. So I'm actually going to draw this little triangle over here just to remind me. I'm going to color it in with yellow. And then why? why are those two triangles congruent? Yeah, so we have two sides. Let's use that. And we have, so we have the side with the three hash marks, so tick marks, the, three, the side with the t one tick mark, and then we have the angle in between, and why are these angles in between vertical equal? Angles. They're vertical angles. So we can say that those are congruent because of side angle side. Now because of that, we have that these opposite sides are, and i got to use a bunch of tick marks now, those have got to be congruent because of C, P, C, T, C. Is everybody getting why you use that and when you use that, Tom? That means corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. And that's a long, long thing there. But what it's saying is that since we have our side angle side, that proves the triangles are congruent, which proves, which means that the 
parts of the triangles are congruent. That makes sense? Okay, could we use the same argument for the other tr triangles that are across from each other? So we could use the same argument for that triangle and that triangle. And now, since those are congruent, what do you, that, that, we could use the same argument to show that BP, we have all these lengths now, equals GC, same argument, now we have two pairs of opposite sides, or yeah, two pairs of opposite sides are congruent, which means it's a parallelogram. That makes sense? That's a crazy long proof, but mentally that's, how, that's what we're looking at. Questions on that? Okay, so number two here, we're trying to find which of the numbered angles must be the same size as the angle numbered one. And then in the figure, we have ABC is a parallelogram, and so is sorry, ABCD and PBQD. So I'm going to actually, um, let's, let's go ahead and outline those just so we can kind of see them. I'll have them with something light. So this right here is a parallelogram. Okay. And then this right here is a parallelogram. So we want what is equal to angle 1 right there. So let's zoom in on this for a second. Hopefully I can make this work. Can I do this? Let's do that. Uh-oh. I think I can fix it. I think I can fix it. I think I know how to fix that. No? Didn't help. Okay, so why do we have... What's, what's one angle that's equal to angle one? 15. Why is 15 equal to angle one? Vertical angles. I agree with that one. What's another angle we have equal to angle one? 12. 12, 12 right here. I agree with that. Why? Corresponding angles. Corresponding angles. Everybody see that? Yeah. You have the yellow parallel lines and then the pink transversal that runs through them. What else is, par is equal to angle one? Four. 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 Why is four equal to angle one? Alternate interior. Alternate interior from the angle one. What else? Seven. Seven. So seven is equal to nine. So why is seven equal to... Anything. What's what do you have seven equal to? Uh, I had alternate interior and then vertical. Line. Yeah, you can either go the four to seven is alternate interior right here. Oops, let's just do this. Right here, four and seven is alternate interior, or you can go from twelve to seven is corresponding. Okay, and then because of that, we also have nine, and that's vertical angles right here. And that's it. That's what you're saying is it. I'm just double checking. Do we see anything else possible? No? All right, I guess we'll go with that.